I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints because I force myself to make quick decisions during the Charleston. This is a great skill if you want to play online or play in a tournament. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be setup. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. If you're a beginner, give yourself four minutes. If you're intermediate, two, three minutes, and then push yourself to that two minute mark. Then you'll be ready to play in a tournament or play online comfortably. Let's roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled a 10. That would be South. I will get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston. I would build around these. Maybe play a year hand or maybe play like numbers with sevens or like numbers with threes. I would not pass that. Let's give up a one. We got a dragon. Threes or sevens. Let's give up on the year. We got a two, two, eight, nine. Let's stick with it. Threes or sevens. Okay, we got a nine and an eight. Let's keep the eight and the seven. Maybe we'll pick up eights. We got sixes. Six, eight, two, four, six, eight. Mm. Let's give up the sixes. Okay, eights. Ooh, we got an eight, finally. Oh my goodness. That was getting really sketchy. Eights. Oh, we got fives. Let's pass these three. lap. Four discards for like numbers. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. We need eight dots. Build up the eights. Like numbers with eights. I think a year hand might have been okay too. I rolled a seven. That means we're player one. Joker, flower, white, pair twos, five, six, one, three, five, six, six, eight, nine. I think if this were me, I would either play a year hand or something consecutive with fives and sixes. 
If we go with a year hand, we would start here. If we play five, six, we would start there. Five, six, five, six. Let's give up one of the sixes. There's a nine. Four, five, six. We've got two different hands going. Year or consecutive. Year or consecutive. Two, zero, one, nine. Let's go with a year. It's kind of six or one half dozen the other, really. There's a one. We'll just keep all the year tiles. Even dragons. Let's pass these three. We got a flower. And let's give up a dragon. We don't really need wins for this particular arrangement of year tiles. More wins. We did get a nine. We do have tiles we can pass. Two, let's see, two, zero, one, nine. With flowers, we don't really need that though. Let's pass these three. We got a white and a one. Two, zero, one, nine. Let's pass two. Lap. So we got a nine. So we could play two, zero, one, nine, second hand down, or we could play with flowers, two, zero, one, nine, one, nine. These would be options. Two, zero, one, nine, one, nine. We're just short a flower. Because we could pung here and here for that first hand, I might play that hand. Three, six, seven, eight, nine versus two, four, six, seven. We have more tiles to the first hand. So I would call this plan B, discard that. Play the very first hand under the year category. Flowers, we need one to be able to make a Kong. So here we have our year tiles. We could Pung and Pung. All we really need here is to help with one flower. Or we could play two, zero, one, nine, and use these two as joker bait. I think the first is better though. Even though we would be giving up three tiles. It worked out pretty well, I think. I wasn't too sure as we were going along. Okay, one more sprint. This last one. We are going to be player four. Dragons, four, nine, lots of cracks with a pair, two, six, eight. If this were my hand, I would probably play two, four, six, eight. Three suits, lots of options, even with maybe dragons. The dragons, though, are one suit. Let's pass these three. Flower, two. 
keep all the evens. We don't have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. We're just going to gather all the two, four, six, eight. There's a six. We'll keep it. Now here's tiles to pass. Two, four, eight, four, six, two, six, eight. Okay. I really don't like passing white dragons. Two, four, six, eight, two, eight. Let's give up the two. White dragon, here's an eight, nine, two, four, six, eight, two, eight, four, six. Let's give up the dots. We got a two, and now we have a white dragon. Right across, left, left, we have to go across. So I think what I would do here is pick a hand, two, four, six, eight, with a second suit in the middle and pass these three. Wow, we have to pass. Wins in a dragon. We could have passed one blind, but one dragon's not bad. Okay, optional cross. Oops. Let's pass these three. Lap. That was interesting. So what we ended up with is six discards, but we have a hand with no gaps. That's okay. That's not bad. And we do have joker bait, actually two. I would discard those first, then the wins, then the dragon, and build up two, four, six, eight. This would be fourth hand down under evens. Pair of flowers, Kong, pair, pair, Kong. Two suits. That was a little difficult. <laughs> I was thinking maybe a pair hand could have worked too, but those white dragons kind of jumped in to the mix. And the dragon hand under evens is corresponding to the suit, and our majority suit was cracks. Let's see how things went with the time. My time went a little long for this video because one of my sprints ended up with an extra tile somehow. I don't know if it was from the, the deal or during the Charleston, so I had to scrap it and do it again. So that's why the timing is a little strange. But I believe I have the sprints identified on my stopwatch. So sprint one was one minute 48 seconds. Sprint two, two minutes 13. Sprint three, two minutes 10. So I went over my personal goal in two sprints. Some of those were a little complicated. If I were playing online, the computer might have thrown a tile for me. So this is one reason why I like to practice with sprints. Force myself to make quick decisions. I don't even look at the card. I just pick a category and gather. When I run out of discards, that's when I pick a hand. So a lot of times during the Charleston, you don't even have to pick a hand, you just gather after the Charleston, and if you're playing online, after you discard, then look at the card and figure out which hand to play based on the tiles you've gathered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong, using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.